In Australia, feral pigs are running amok. A big problem. Both ecology and agriculture are suffering heavily. There are now more than 24 million of them, almost as many as the human population. They are found across the territory, concentrated in Queensland and New South Wales. In some places, the density is up to 10 to 20 per square mile. In humid areas with plenty of water and rich soil, they thrive. Can humans control this explosion? Continue to follow the journey to discover the war against feral pigs in Australia. Wild boars reproduce rapidly. The gestation period is only about 115 days, then continues. Each year they give birth to two litters, each litter of five to 10, even up to 12 when favorable. The piglets grow incredibly fast, reaching adulthood in just four to six months. The number therefore increases exponentially. They live in herds of five to 30, united and flexible, adaptable. From the mountains, plains to near residential areas, they exist everywhere. At night, they go out to find food, quietly and cunningly. Worrying reality. Initially, wild boars lived only in a few remote areas. But then humans expanded their farming land, destroyed forests and built continuously. Forests gradually disappeared, Natural food sources also depleted over the years.
With no place to hide, they were forced to leave. Wild boars flooded into agricultural areas and even residential areas, looking for food and shelter to survive. The ecosystem is in disarray. Humans have inadvertently created a serious imbalance. With a terrifying reproductive rate, feral pigs have become the most dangerous invasive species in Australia. They displace native animals, destroying natural habitats. The entire ecosystem is severely damaged. Biodiversity is declining and many species are disappearing. Wild boars are a real nightmare. They invade farms and dig up everything. Fields of corn, potatoes, cassava and wheat are destroyed. Many fields are white overnight. According to the Australian Department of Agriculture, the damage each year exceeds $100 million. And that's not all. They also erode the soil, disrupt irrigation systems, and leave long-term consequences. In the outback, in places like Queensland or New South Wales, wild pigs are rampant. They rush into ponds, roll in mud, and pollute drinking water for people and livestock. In the fields, they prowl, hunting birds, turtles, and baby possums. Everything is turned upside down. The ecosystem is severely disrupted. More dangerously, they carry pathogens that can be transmitted to livestock and humans.
Faced with such a tense situation, the Australian government and farmers took action. A major operation. The sun was scorching. The atmosphere was as tense as a string on the vast fields. Suddenly, the shadow of a wild boar appeared. The sound of a gun rang out, a precise, fast and decisive shot. In the middle of the Australian wilderness, the battle with wild pigs enters a new era. Drones take off. They hover in the sky, scanning for every trace among the vast vegetation. From afar, infrared cameras penetrate the dense night. Every movement, every breath is detected. Technology replaces humans, bringing hope of control, but also raises the question, is nature really peaceful? But then life returns. After the devastation, the fields still grow strong. Rain falls and the ground softens. New shoots emerge from the old mud. The farmers return, their calloused hands stirring up new life. The harvesters turn. The rhythm of harvesting begins again, steady and persistent. In the dawn light, the sound of the engine blends with the sound of the wind, signaling a new season full of hope. <laughs> 